paratroops, the infantrymen who drop from the skies and fight on land. With Allied successes on all fronts, the training of paratroops continues with increasing intensity. These men are all volunteers, and the Army is now accepting men from every branch of the service who can pass the rigid mental and physical tests to become paratroopers. fit quite like the paratroops, the daredevils who ride down on silk. Paratroopers were the first to land in Normandy. There they proved their worth beyond question. Paratroops will continue to play a leading part in the Allies' global fight to victory. of the Allied Fifth Army in Italy at attention, awaiting the arrival of the distinguished French leader, General Charles de Gaulle. General Mark Clark, Fifth Army commander, greets General de Gaulle, and the two high officers talk together again for the first time since North Africa. Medal of the Legion of Honor for General Clark, presented by General de Gaulle. A proud moment for Allied brothers in arms, and a tribute to all of the officers and men of the Fifth Army, liberators of Naples and Rome, now moving forward again in northern Italy. Salvage operations off the Atlantic coast. A huge naval floating salvage crane goes into action. Navy experts working in heavy water battle to make fast a cable to the submerged hulk of a sunken ship. Navy divers and trainees gain practical instruction in the tough and invaluable science of naval salvage. The second birthday of the waves, America's women of the Navy. In Cedar Falls, Iowa, they celebrate by setting out for nearby farms to help relieve farm labor shortages. Detasseling corn. To produce the proper kind of seed, the tassels must be stripped from each stalk, and these Iowa waves are experts at the job. On a moving platform, they detassel the tall ones. Hard work, and then fresh corn on the cob. For the champion detasseler, a helping of the best. Far from the cornfields at Hunter College, New York City, 3,500 waves in a formal review to mark their anniversary. Mayor LaGuardia on the reviewing stand. In two years' time, the waves have made a brilliant record. Soon, the first contingents may go overseas.
to newly won Saipan in the Marianas come Admiral Ernest King, United States Navy Commander-in-Chief, and Admiral Chester Nimitz, Pacific Fleet Commander. They view some of the wrecked Jap equipment that litters the island and confer with Marine Lieutenant General Holland Smith, whose amphibious corps, invader of Tarawa, Makan, and Kwajalein, has now added Saipan to its list. The capture of Saipan places Japan and the Philippines within striking distance of Allied Pacific fleets. Paracutan, Mexico. A new volcano pours millions of tons of white-hot lava along a 25-mile front less than 200 miles from Mexico City. A church is destroyed by the fury of the invincible avalanche, and the organ is hurriedly salvaged. Communications are destroyed, five whole towns engulfed. Tarascan Indians take flight to escape one of nature's most terrifying displays. Steaming and hissing, the lava moves on at the rate of 200 yards a day. Its temperature, 1,200 to 2,000 degrees. The new volcano erupted for the first time only a little over a year ago. Now, earth-shaking explosions, higher and higher waves of melted stone, and destruction everywhere. Paracutan, newest of major volcanoes. 